Uh, sabi po sa sikat Timothy 4, 1 and 2, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead at the appearing of his kingdom, preach the word. Amen. Reapers, you got the perfect shirt. Preach the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Four square. We're all four square. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince, rebuke, exhort with long suffering and teaching. Father, bless your word into our hearts. Amen, Lord. Season. Each of the four divisions of the year. Sabi po nila ng September 12, Mid-Autumn Festival. Sabi ko po, still summer. But we enjoyed, you look at the video, we enjoyed even under the heat of the sun. The Lord has protected us. So when we talk of season, these are the spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Nagkausap ko kayo ng isang pastor, sabi niya, what seasons you have in the Philippines? Sabi ko, there's only one. Summer all the year. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Ang inin sa araw, mga alas 3, alas 4, biglang buhos ng ulan. This weather is a result of the Earth's changing position with regard to the sun. At lahat may season. Tapos na ang season ni Queen Elizabeth. And tomorrow will be the great state funeral represented by many, many presidents all over the world. 500. 500 world leaders will gather in UK. And most of the time we watch it on live. I watch how they really walk royally. That's the season of their lives. And Prince William is being, you know, prepared to become the king as Prince Charles waited for 70 years to become a king. My season, again, look at your statement. Anong season niya ngayon? <laughs> Spring, dahil maganda. Now, our focus are the two phrases. What does it mean to be ready in season and out of season? Now, the background of this, Paul gives Timothy a series of solemn exhortations. If you are given a chance to write a letter, dahil yung mahal mo sa buhay ay makaalis na, or ikaw mismo alam mo that you have five days to live, what will you write? You are going to write the most important things. You are going to tell your husband or your children how much you love them. Knowing that you only have few days. This is what happened during this time. Paul is already on his own age. Timothy is beginning to rise up as a great leader. And Timothy was the spiritual son of Paul. So this was a part of the solemn exhortation sa napakarami niyang advice. Ito po ang kanyang sinabi. To encourage him to be faithful to the truth. Amen. Panghawakan po natin during this time of social media, ang daming preachings, ang daming seminars, ang daming Bible study, job group. But when we are rooted in the Word, God's Word is always in season. Amen. 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 Remain in the truth about God and Jesus Christ. So, Paul commanded Timothy to be ready in season and out of season. Ano pong ibig sabihin na maging ready tayo sa season? and out of season na lagi nating naririnig. It means timely and untimely. O kapatid, magkita ulit tayo sa cell group, next session, eh siguro nakatanggap naman ako ng certificate, pwede pahinga muna, may part time kasi. Parang hindi perfect yung time. We are being told to be ready in season and out of season. Time or untimely. Pangalawa pong definition, convenient or not convenient. Da, uy, kertil man siyong risura ka. Uy, upat ako ng us during only our convenient time or even in our difficult time. Rumalagasa ang pagpapala ng Diyos. In the same way, we have to be ready in season and out of season. Convenient or not convenient, serve the Lord. Amen. Repeat 
ang mga instrument pupunta dito sa bagong venue. Hindi natin alam paano ilabas ang audio. It is an effort at magpuri sa Panginoon. Some things and some things are not convenient, you know. But God is faithful. Yes. Another definition of season and out of season, good times and bad times. There are bad days. As soon as you wake up, ang hirap. Para kang nakisapot, nakisapot, pero bisapot ka. May sumpong ka, hindi mo maintindihan, pero may sumpong ka. There are bad days. But nevertheless, that's part of ready, being ready in season, and out of season. There are only three things that Paul com commanded Timothy here as part of his solemn exhortations. And I'm going to share that with you. Simple. We have heard it. But I want everyone as part of our CE to be reminded that God's word is always in season. That's why number one, be ready in season and out of season means preach and share the word. Amen. Pastor Rapping shared that this morning during our devotion. Yeah. What God, you know, what makes Jesus smile? When we love. Because we love, we share. We will bring them to our crusade. Amen. Nagkauntag lami tayo mang hatag sa ta. We have been eating good food. Let us share. Bring them to the church. Amen. We can lead them to the Lord. Hallelujah. Share by your life testimony. You don't have to have, you know, a Bible school degree or a lot of seminars to preach, but your life when you're generous, when you're true to your core, when you are honest in front of your leaders, even at the back of your leaders, you are a living epistle. Yes. That's sharing. Hallelujah. Share. You don't need a text. Kung hindi mo matandaan saan nakikita yun, sabihin mo lang, alam mo, nadama ko ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Nung may naglihan sa akin sa living spring, free ako. Sabi ng mga kapatid natin na nagpapaptize, Ibang-iba nung sila'y nagsabit sa Panginoon. Why? Because somebody shared the gospel to them. Second, to be ready in season and out of season. Correct and review. Correct. Meaning, kilala ka niya, respected ka niya, so that you can have an access. But Paul was so clear and so straight. Timothy, the churches that I have pioneered continue to share to them the gospel. When there is a need to correct and there is a need to review, do it in love. I will be with you. Because the person will feel, if you're really sincere, if I would say, yeah, you know, I've heard you are into this immoral relationship. I really love you. I want you to be an effective leader. I'll pray for you. I'll be beside you. God is going to bring you out of that situation. That's good love. Hallelujah. Let's correct and rebuke the people because we love them with love and wisdom from the Lord. And that brings us to the last. Paul said, Timothy, convince and encourage. Persuade when you convince, you persuade. Ipakita din sa ilang na tinuod na na sinati ni mo. With everything was hopeless and I cried to the Lord. The Lord has given me hope. And if He did that to me, He will do that to you. Persuade them, encourage them. When they tell you something very dark about their lives, keep it to yourself. And continue to build them up. Because no one is righteous in the sight of God. Not even one. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, including your pastor. But God in his amazing grace has helped us to rise up. Hallelujah. Because his word is alive. So every time we attend Bible study, every time we attend Sunday school, every time we are in our cell group, every time we do our outreach, it's the word of God that will transform us. Yes. Why do we need to do this? These things are not an option. Huwag niyong sabihin trabaho ng evangelism ministry or ng CA department. Sila pastor, sila pastor. God will help you. 1 Peter 2.9 says, 
We need to preach, we need to share, we need to correct, we need to reveal, convince, and persuade because we are a chosen generation. Ang daming tao sa mundo, pero pinili ka, pinili ka, tinawag ka, iniligtas ka niya. We are a chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. We are a special people. Tell your seatmate, you are a special person. Hallelujah. Why? Why are we chosen? Why are we called a royal priesthood? Why are we called a holy nation? Because we have to declare, we have to proclaim the praises of Him who called us out of darkness into a marvelous life. And a lifetime of service could not pay the goodness of God in our life. Sabihin mo lang, ang sama ko naman, nagmumura ko. Pero binago ako ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! Wala akong ganang mag-church. Inaantok ako. But when I surrender my life to the Lord, He brought me out of darkness into His marvelous life. Now, I'm so excited. Dadalo ako sa outreach cell group, sa outreach CE Day sa linggo. Amen? Hallelujah! We have to support one another. Huwag natin sisipin, tapos na presentation namin, pwede na tayo huwag kumatid. No! We need to be in unity. Amen. We need to be one. We are called from darkness into his marvelous light. When it's timely or untimely, when it's convenient or inconvenient, when it's comfortable or we are not comfortable, God will carry us through as long as we continue to serve him. So wherever we are, for our conclusion, whether we are in church, or we are at home, working, we must be ready in season and out of season to declare His praises because the truth is, the world is watching us. Our friends would watch us. Leader ba yan? Bakit ganon? Teacher ba yan? Bakit ganon? Pastor ba yan? Tulin mo kung may mga bagay sa buhay ko that makes my Christian testimony blurred and unclear. Many times they could not read the love of God in our lives. Many times it's so unclear kung ano yung sinasabi ng buhay natin. Why? Because we are not allowing the Holy Spirit to overpower us. And today, in unity, we can just tell the Lord, Lord, I would live for you. Let's all arise. Tambayan.com. Download your free copies now.
lahat ng iyong gawain, siya may alalahanis upang ikaw'y patubayan sa iyong mga katahari. Yeah. 